Well, I started my career in corporate America, and I went into corporate sales at a very high level right out of college. And I was very successful. I was the third salesperson in the entire country the very first year when I was with the corporation. And everyone kept saying, oh, you're gonna be vice president someday. You're on this fast track to success. But unfortunately, I was in a very toxic environment. This was long before the Me Too movement, and so I was flooded with all kinds of sexual harassment. And it was also a double standard because when I would succeed, the men in my office would say, oh, well, it must be nice to be a hot chick. And I didn't feel like I was ever fully recognized for my gifts and for my talents. And even though I was making great money and everyone kept saying how successful I was so early, I wasn't fulfilled. And I ended up having a nervous breakdown. I didn't know it at the time, but one day I crawled under my desk and I couldn't get out. I was like in fetal position. And I remember asking myself, is this it? Is this success? And my heart said, no, no, this is not it. And so I walked away from my six-figure corporate career and I became an entrepreneur at 26. I started my first business and I'll never forget the minute I wrote my name next to CEO. It was back in the day where you had to actually fill in the paperwork at the registrar's office to incorporate a business. And when I wrote my name next to CEO, I realized I just made myself a CEO. Wow, we're making all of this up. We can do anything. And so that was the moment where I became unemployable. <laughs> I've been an entrepreneur ever since. And thankfully, I had a mentor who taught me the secrets to building an online business. I was 28 when I wrote my first book. And that is the book that really began my whole career as an internet marketer because I had the desire to help people. I knew that money without meaning didn't do it for me and I'm very grateful that I discovered that early in life because I know a lot of people don't wake up to that realization until maybe they're in a midlife crisis but for me it really has always been about service and how does my life and my voice and my message make a difference and by finding internet marketing that has given me the greatest sense of fulfillment because I know that I'm making a difference. So I'm a perfect example of how People told me you can never compete in such a competitive market like health and fitness or even now the publishing industry. You know, who are you to think that you could disrupt these huge multi-billion dollar industries? But this is what the internet has done. The internet has allowed an entrepreneur or a visionary who has a vision, who can see how you can do it better, faster, more efficiently. And that's what a disruption is. And these huge companies that have been locked in their way of being, they can't see it. You know, in the publishing industry, they come from this world where the books are everything and it was the old brick and mortar selling books through a bookstore. Whereas I came through the internet and my background as an internet marketer and giving me access to finding the audience where they are, on their phones, on their internet inner access like that is where humanity is actually evolving and so we as entrepreneurs have an opportunity unlike any that has ever been created in the history of humanity i started my internet business for 250 dollars and where in the world or where in history would you be able to start a business that has now carried me for over 15 years for 250 dollars I mean, it's just unreal what's possible today. And it is because the internet is connecting 
the person to the audience in a way that we've never had access to before. And communication has accelerated. We are now connected 24 hours a day, seven days a week by the speed of digital light. And this is also why if you're doing the old fashioned publishing model and taking two to five years to publish your book, it will actually be outdated. This is why I publish my books and my authors in 90 days, because you have to be ahead of the curve. You have to see where is the market market evolving. If you're looking at where is the market today, by the time you publish, it could already be outdated. And so really being clear of being a thought leader, evolving the industry, disrupting the status quo, that is where you get to serve humanity at the highest level. And you also have no competition because no one else is looking into the future of where is the market going. So today everyone is looking for connection and trust. We want to know who we are actually taking advice from. And this has also been part of the social media revolution. All of the lights of corporations need to be turned on. We want to know where does my dollar go? You know, we vote with our dollar. We say, this is a corporation that I want to invest in. And also, do I trust this company to give me the results that I'm searching for? We've all been burned so many times from these huge companies who feel like they've lost their soul or lost the character or actually caring about their customers. And I know that I experienced this in corporate America. This is why I had a nervous breakdown is because there was no soul connection. And so what the internet has done is it has allowed someone who truly cares about their audience in order to connect with them. And really that's what content is. Content is connection where you're connecting with them, whether it's through a video or through an audio or through an article or in in the best case scenario, a book. Because when you publish a book, that automatically makes you an authority on the subject. You know, you can have PhDs or letters behind your name or certifications, but the minute you release that book to the world, you are now seen as the authority on that subject. And the word authority literally comes from the word author. So it means that you are the author of that subject. And so this is why I always encourage business owners, even internet marketers to publish a book as quickly as possible because that's what gets you into that authority status. And now when you are building a course or creating a website, you'll always be able to reference your book and say, look, I care so much about this subject. I've done so much research, investigation, I've been through my own journey where I've helped others through their journey. And now the book is what makes you the authority on that subject. And so this connection is what people are looking for. When you can see someone's eyes in a video, when you can read someone's story in a book, you know that person. You get to build a relationship with them. And we want to know who are we engaging with. The days of just, you know, blindly trusting that a company or a corporation is gonna have your best interest at heart are long gone. We want to have a relationship with the people, especially when it's a problem or a subject that, or an obstacle that is very personal. We want to know who is this person who I'm trusting in order to solve my problem. And that's what's revolutionary about the internet is that it allows an audience to connect with a person who truly cares and has their best interest at heart.